Hi, welcome to the channel Budget Order Review and Upgrades. Now it may sound a little bit hoarse, a little bit rough and that's because I am and this, this video just to take a few pictures and etc and whatever I've done has took me three or four days. It's been hard work and I haven't really done anything. Uh, yes, yeah, so I usually do these videos downstairs now because I've got a lot more room there but I just couldn't be bothered to take it downstairs today and I wanted to try and get the video out because uh, I've got so many mounting up now that I want to put out there. So today I'm reviewing this AV Link Speaker Select switch box. It does four sets of speakers, but it's got a built-in protection. Now a while back I've done this other little sweet speaker select switch box uh, with these switches here. Done four sets of speakers again, but had no built-in protection. And a few people asked, how do you work out the impedance? You know, it seems a bit silly, I'm gonna to have to muck about and all that. And it, it can be a bit confusing. Uh, especially when you've got like four sets of speakers and you've, even if they're eight ohms, four sets of speakers are eight ohms. Once you bring them all into circuit in parallel, they're going to mount to two ohms resistance across your amplifier and that's not good. So um, yeah, not unless you can work it out or you're just going to use say maybe two sets on one occasion then turn them two sets off then bring another two sets in to try and balance it out. It can work out confusing. I'll put a link at the top to that box as it happens to this review so you can have a look at that but before you go there um, a few reviews I've kind of seen on this afterwards saying that you know a lot of people didn't like it to be honest with you and I thought it was okay you know I thought it's quite sturdy done the job all the switches work no problems at all the main concern was the speaker terminals here where there wasn't big enough to get people's wiring now the people complaining were using like high quality wire expensive wire quite thick cables and the thick cables are not going to go in here. I think it goes between about, you know, they recommend 14 to 22 uh, gauge wire. Uh, you know, if you're not in that kind of bracket, if you're going too big a gauge, then uh, it's not going to fit in. If the wire's too thick, it's not going to fit in there. So just bear that in mind. You know, if you're using really expensive or quite expensive thick wire, you're going to struggle to get it in there. And also the depth of the wire goes in, it's probably only about half inch. But once it's in there, it's in there firm. It's not going to come out and it's a solid contact. So, you know, maybe just bear that in mind. But that link at the top, if you want to go and see this review, and also a couple of more ways of actually using these speaker select switch boxes rather than just a normal way. Okay, back onto this one. So uh, on this one here, when you open the box, you get the instructions inside. You get this little sheet here, I'll show you a picture of that, uh, which shows you, uh, you know, got a little sticker there, so you can like label up each room maybe to how you want it. Obviously you can print your own stickers up, you can remember which one's what, you know what I mean, it ain't that complicated I suppose, but they just stick on the front here. There's a little indentation there to put them stickers, if you so which, which. Sorry, I, I don't feel that great and I'm going to be mumbling on a bit here, but let's try and get this out if we can. Okay, first thing you're going to notice, this is quite sturdy, this is, weighs quite a bit, this weighs over a kilo, this weighs a third of that, but it's still like, it's a thinner casing, but it's still sturdy, it's still strong, but this is even stronger, like, you know what I mean, this is really thick casing, it's got quite a bit of weight, it's a little bit bigger than that, if we put them together, a little picture there just to show them together, it is bigger, so it's going to weigh a bit more anyway, but it weighs quite a lot more. Okay, got the vents at the top here and the vents at the bottom here, and these let the when these resistors eat up, which they do, but they don't get that hot. I mean, I've, I've only used a 40 watt amplifier to be honest with you, at the volume about halfway with a couple of sets of speakers with the protection enabled. They get a little bit warm, they don't get very hot. You're not going to fry an egg on top of it, but just in case you're going to go to the maximum here, and just, just bear this in mind, even though it says on the side of the box there, as you can see, that this is rated at 140 watts. It's rated 140 watts per channel, and that's with the protection off. Now, if you want to turn the protection on, uh, it actually halves that. With the protection on, you can only do 70 watts a channel. So just bear that in mind. So that's a little bit misleading, that box there saying 140 watts. It's actually 70 if, like most people, probably going to turn that protection on. The reason you bought the box, really. Okay, and this can be, you know, these, you've got your four buttons at the front. So you've got you know, zone one or speakers paired up one, uh, then you've got speakers two, speaker three, these could be different rooms, different sets of speakers everywhere, and speakers four, you can you, know, you can have different ones, you can have more on, any two, any pairs on, any one on, etc. But if we just look at the front there, as you can see there, on the far right there, there's a little switch there that says single pair direct, and it says underneath there, engage when using one pair of loud speakers. So you push that in, when you want to, you know, you're just listening to one set of speakers, say you've got, you know, you set uh, one in your living room, say, so you turn them on, 
So it's only one set of speakers you're listening to through your amplifier. So you can press that in. So you know that cuts out them resistors, that, that bypasses them resistors. Now you, you can leave it out if you want to, you know what I mean? It's not a problem. But you will notice once you engage them, um, I'll say leave it out, uh, that engages it. It's a bit confusing. You would have thought it, when you left it, you know, that switch was in the outward position, that they are um, not, not engaged, not working. And when you push it in, you've turned them on and they're working. Well, it's actually the opposite. When, when the switch is out, they're disengaged. Uh, sorry, they're engaged. Them speakers are engaged. Uh, them resistor is engaged. Sorry. Them resistor is engaged with that switch out. So to turn them off and to bypass them out the circuit, you push that switch in. And there they're out the circuit. Now, what you will notice there, if you've done it like that, like it suggests, with one set of speakers, push that button in. Them speakers are going to sound like just normal, like they're connected up to the amplifier normally. But as soon as you press that button outwards, you know, to, to get the switch to pop out, it's going to put them resistors in circuit, and it's going to lower the volume of them set of speakers you've got connected. And that's going to do the same if you had two, three, four sets of speakers connected. So it brings them resistors into circuit, and bringing them into circuit, a little bit of resistance is going to lower the volume of them speakers. So if I can give you an example, I'm just going to give you a little example here, where you may not want to use this box if you can work out the impedance yourself or if you're just going to have two sets of speakers uh, connected at a time. If you've got a set of speakers, say we go with a set of Goodman's, you bought two identical sets of Goodman speakers, they're both 8 ohms, they're both 90 decibel sensibility, so they're all perfectly matched. You connect them up to this box and you want to, let's just get all the buttons where they should be, and you just want one pair connected, then fine, don't forget what it says at the front here, uh, I've lost, forgot myself, engage when using one set of speakers. So you've got one set of speakers, so engage it to take them out of the circuit, and they're going to sound normal. So when you put the second set in, it's going to ask you, now you know, most people are going to want the protection now. So you're going to press that button to take it back out again, so it's pop back out, but that's going to put them resistors in circuit. Both sets of speakers are going to be in play, they're both going to be working, they're both going to sound fine, they're both protected, you're lovely, or fine, nothing to worry about. But it's going to lower the volume on both of them sets of speakers. The volume is going to be a little bit lower. So to get the same kind of volume level, you're going to have to crank your amplifier up a little bit. But if you know they're both 8 ohms yourself, you've worked out they're both 8 ohms. They're both in parallel, because that's how this box works. They're both in parallel. 8 ohms, two sets in parallel, that works out 4 ohms. 4 ohms is still fine for your amplifier. Just double check that on the back of your amplifier. You have a little label in the instructions of your amplifier. It says what the minimum is impedance wise for your amplifier and these days it's normally between 4 and 16 ohms your amplifier be fine so two sets like I say speakers of 8 ohms each hopefully it's not too complicated in parallel works out 4 ohms impedance across your amplifier so they're both fine so you could literally push that back in because you know they're fine it doesn't need the protection so pushing that back in would it, it won't increase the volume but it'll have the volume as it should be if you know what I mean if you put the protection on, it's going, to, it's going to bring that into circuit and it's going to lower the volume. So what I'm saying is, by pushing that in, then at any sets of speakers, you're going to have to, you know, to get the same kind of volume as you would with that off, you're going to have to crank the volume up. So you will notice that, if, you know, when you're fiddling about, even with one set of speakers, if you just one set of speakers connected, if you have it disengaged, so the uh, protection's off, uh, sorry, pressed in so the protection's off, a bit confusing there, pressed in so the protection's off, that speaker will sound you know, fairly loud depending on the volume of the amplifier. But as soon as you pull that button or press it into bring it back out or leave it out and that circuit is now engaged, that speaker will sound lower because then resistors are taking up a little bit of that power of your amplifier. So just bear that in mind. Uh, also, looking at the back, it's a little bit more uh, slightly laid out different to this other box here, which is more straightforwardly laid out, I think, is where this switch here, say number one, is this here, left and right, top and bottom, left and one side, right at the bottom, it goes straight down, that's one channel, that's channel, if we do it from here, don't want to get it too confusing for you, that's the input, that's channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, but on this box it's slightly laid out differently, uh, where is channel one, if I just put a diagram up there, is along the bottom, all along the bottom is left and right of one, where number two is at the top here, 
number three is over here, and number four is the top lot. So just laid out slightly different, not, not normally going downwards, they kind of go across the way they're laid out. Other than that, this box does its job. But what I would say, if you're only going to use two sets of speakers in different rooms, different kind of ways of doing it, different you know, setups, two lots, you may just want to stick to this box if you don't need the protection in this box. But if you can have all four sets of speakers or three sets of speakers going at once, then you're probably going to want this and protection. So, you know, maybe just work out, do I really need that protection? Because you're paying a little bit extra uh, and if you're not going to need it, then it's a bit silly because what box do I prefer out of the two? Well, even though this is more sturdier, more stronger, I just like the switches on this one. I just prefer these switches. So these switches, just my pre preference, really. Uh, it's a lighter box, I know. It's a uh, you know, more smaller box, just fits in a little bit better for me. Uh, and plus, when you're using it, I can just go like that on top. So you think, I can just take this off a minute and give you an example. I, you know, I do it for testing, etc. I'll just quickly flick like that, one hand, I can flip one hand, don't use your stick like that, just on the table I have it, it's quite sturdy. With this box here, when you go to push the buttons, you'll look straight away, you need, you need, you kind of like, you need the two hands, you need one hand, definitely to hold it because you're pushing, but it's, it's just me really. So, you know, out of the two, if you didn't need protection, I think I still prefer this one, a little bit cheaper for you as well, but if you want the protection, then obviously you're going to have to go for this one. And other than that, it all works fine. I've had no problems with it. Uh, sound difference between the two, someone's bound to ask, to be honest with you. For the amplifiers and speakers I'm using, I could not, you know, I'm flicking between each box, I could not tell the difference in the sound. It did make no sound difference whatsoever. Like I say, the only difference would be if I'm going to push that button out, or leave it out, should I say, and bring them resistors into circuit, it's going to lower the volume of the speakers connected. And that's it really. So, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. If you need protection, that's not a little bad box for 25 quid here in the UK. So hopefully you bear with me. You've kept with us through that. I've just about made it through the end of the video. I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.